Hey, what's going on you guys? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division video. Now today's video will be centered around Final Measure crit build. You guys did read correctly, it is a crit build. It's not a healer, it's not a skill, it's a crit build. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Now before I get started, don't forget to smash a like if you enjoyed this video sub to the channel and enjoy all my other videos if you guys need help farming or you guys need help in the dz what have you accommodations and you play on xbox just hit me up kamikaze von doom you see me online just smash a message towards me and uh i'll get back with you and help you guys out but all right let's get into this as you guys can see from my outfit and from the name of the video, this is Final Measure. Classified six piece. Start with the appearance. All Final Measure. This is the Final Measure outfit. Uh, this comes from Mark III. Mark III came out with 1.8.1 uh, about two or three weeks ago. Uh, when you get all of these outfits, you unlock the Sentinel outfit. And I'll give you guys a video here in the future showing you guys all that. Alright, the patch I'm wearing is the cool looking grenade patch. It's from one of the previous uh, global events. I just did that because it's my final measure build. And I'm running the Rider Mask. Rider Mask looks really cool with this final measure outfit. Alright, so six piece final measure. Uh, I have... The house in the lightweight M4. I'm running first wave X45 as a pistol. I I procced more into stamina for this, but not quite as much. Usually the normal player goes six and six, or four and nine. I kind of like hit the middle, and I'm at like five six and seven five. So right right between that six thousand stamina and nine thousand. Uh, I really, really dig this balance right here, and I'll show you guys why. All right, let's get into the guns real quick. Run the house, deadly vicious, fully optimized card counter. For the attachments, I am running loud vent break, 19 on the crit hit damage, 5.5 on the headshot damage, and 3 on the crit chance. I believe you can find a 6 on the headshot damage, so I'm still on the lookout for that. Small grip, red, for my uncle barrel. Uh, 19 on the crit hit damage, 2 on the accuracy, and 5 on the reload speed. For the extended mag, 120.5 on the mag size, 3 crit hit chance, 5.5 five on that rate of fire. And finally, the C7-9 scope with 19 on the crit damage, 3 on the crit chance and six on the headshot damage. As far as, as my skins go, I'm running white skin on all of my guns and I am running the white poker skin on my backpack. My secondary, lightweight M4, fully optimized, deadly, brutal, destructive. This is more for just ad control. <clears throat> as far as the mods are concerned, Loud vent break on the lightweight M4, 19 on the crit damage, 2.5 on the stability, and 3 on the crit chance. Small grip, 19 on the crit damage, 5 on the reload, 2.5 on the stability. Extended mag, 121 on the mag size, 3 crit chance, and 5.1 on the rate of fire. And finally, I specced into crit chance on my lightweight, and... Uh, I chose the Rugged Mini Reflex Sight, has 7.5 crit chance, 5.5 headshot damage, and 4 crit damage. Nothing special about the pistol, expert harmful, fully optimized, nothing special. Alright, let's get into the build. Six piece final measure. Before we get into this, let's talk about the set bonuses. Set bonus 2 gives you uh, exotic damage resilience. This is key when fighting the Pred. This is key when fighting the grenade spammers. 
and this is key when going against uh, NPCs. All right, set bonus three, fifteen percent protection from elites. Again, PVE based bonus. Set bonus four, talent, final measure. When in range of hostile grenades or mortars, diffuses them and adds grenades to your inventory. Can only happen once every eight seconds. Basically, every eight seconds you take their grenade. Set bonus five. Now we're getting into the classified part. An extra 15% exotic damage resilience and an extra 15% on the protection from elites. And for my crit build version of this, I am running the six piece. And the set bonus for the six piece gives you the talent improved final measure. When a grenade is diffused, the player and all group members within 30 meters gain a buff based on the grenade type that was diffused. I run this with a team. I run this in the dark zone primarily. And every once in a while, I'll get my feet wet in some last stand and skirmish with this build. Now, it, it, especially in skirmish, this build is key. You like to stay together in skirmish. And every time I get a proc, everyone on my team gets a proc. Now, just stay tuned for the gameplay video. But all I'm going to say is when they throw frags, our DPS on our entire team just skyrockets. All right, let's get back into this. So when an enemy throws an EMP or shot grenade, our skill power will be increased by 40% for 8 seconds. Frag grenade or incendiary, our weapon damage is increased by 40% for 8 seconds. And if it's a flashbang or tear gas, our armor is increased by 40 seconds. And that lasts as long as your final measure, every 8 seconds. So every 8 seconds you can get a different boost. So when you're already sitting at over 420 DPS and 500 and you know almost 30 toughness, these 40 percents are huge. But okay, so in the chest piece, uh, I rolled for stamina, stamina mod. Uh, I have 11 percent exotic damage resilience and health as the major attributes. Minor attribute is ammo capacity. Mods I'm running on the chest piece are both stamina crit chance mods. 266, they're both one away from max. And obviously if you see like the health number and the ammo capacity number and the score number, this is not fully optimized. Going to the backpack. Like I said before, I... Let's see if I can show you real quick. I am running the Poker Ace skin on my backpack. Alright. I also have Prototype Firearms mod with health and two First Aid Self Heals maxed performance mods. Now as for this Firearms mod, this is a maxed out 267 with as high as health as I can get for one of these. I have not seen one higher. And I did not need a crit chance mod on all my gear to get my max out. So I decided to utilize the slot for some more health. But alright, so the backpack is rolled firearms with firearm mod. Major attribute is crit hit damage. And the minor attribute is disrupt resilience. Obviously the only change I would do is get rid of the disrupt and get more ammo. Going to the mask, rolled stamina with stamina mod, major attribute crit chance 4%, minor attribute blind death resilience. Again, I would change the minor. For this one, I would get damage to elites. Now for the mod on the mask, I am running a maxed out stamina mod with 1% crit chance. Gloves, armor 992. Almost fully optimized. Rolled firearms, 1401. Attributes, SMG damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. All maxed out. God rolled gloves. Knee pads, close to being fully optimized. 
Stamina with Stamina Mod. Major Attribute, Crit Hit Damage, maxed out at 9%. Minor Attributes, Disrupt Resilience, Damage to Elites, and Burn Resistance. I like the damage to Elites here. I would change the Disrupt to Bleed or Shock, but that's just me. As far as the mods are concerned, another maxed out Stamina Mod with Crit Chance. And another performance mod for first aid self heal, 6%. And finally, the holster is not fully optimized. Sitting at 1401 firearms, 1376 stamina, and 1401 electronics. Major attribute, crit hit chance, maxed out at 4%. With a performance mod of first aid self heal, again maxed out at 6%. Uh, so yes, you can raise the stamina on here another 30 or so. So yes, your health and your toughness will go up. And as you can see on these armor numbers, they're all not maxed out except for the uh, holster. So again, the toughness is just going to keep going up. <clears throat> I would predict it would go around uh, 540. Maybe 545 after I max out the holster. But we'll see. I'll make an updated video after I uh, optimize this build. Now let's go into the character sheet. Make sure we're looking at our primary weapon. Alright, so let's start off. So firearms, 5,620. That gives me a primary firepower of 424,241 on my house. That is without card counter. So card counter is not active there. Stamina, 7,583. That gives me a toughness of 528,140. My electronics, bare bones at 2,961 and a skill power of 88,830. Going to the house weapon stats. The weapon damage... 19,377. Crit hit chance is maxed out at 60%. My crit hit damage is currently at 132. And my headshot damage is at 62%. Accuracy, 2%. My range is uh, normal, 17 meters. Reload speed is a little low. It's not as good as those pred builds, but I'll take it at the 2.2 seconds. As far as the combat, my damage to elites is 16%. My toughness, again, is at 528,140. My max health is 355,378. Above 350 is still pretty good for a final measure DPS crit build. My armor, like I said, this is not fully optimized. It's about... Oh, 188 or so away from maxed out. So as it sits currently, I'm at 32.71% weapon damage mitigation. My protection from elites is 30%. My exotic damage resilience is 51%. Now, this is key. If you're running this build, you can get between 50 and 75 or more in the 70s percent range of exotic damage resilience you can push it up more but 50 to 70 is where you want to be so I'm at the bottom of that bracket but this is a DPS crit build but you need at least 50 percent exotic damage resilience for this build when you're doing the PvP against Preds whether it be uh, the cleaners and the burn you know what have you anything you want at least 50 percent on this build and that goes with your maxed out crit this build is awesome all right blind death is 16 percent burn is 33 disrupt is 50 as you can see and like i said earlier i can change I, I wish i could change the disrupt on those items and push it to shock or bleed but you know rng Alright, so let's go into the abilities. I'm running Booster with Immune and Recovery. 
Um, basically, my immune is my heal, and if I get on bleed. Now, you do still get on bleed, even with all that exotic damage resilience. However, you will not die from those bleeds. They still hurt, but they will not kill you. So, you know, throw down the immune box real quick, blow it up, get off that bleed, you're good to go. Go back into the fight. I put on the booster shot in case I don't get a frag or incendiary thrown at me. This is basically my weapon booster. And uh, when they do throw a frag and I pop this, the DPS is insane. And I can't wait to show you guys the gameplay footage. Now, as far as my talents are concerned, I'm going to be running Precision. Headshot a hostile to pulse, uh, pulse them for 10 seconds. I am not running a pulse. So any pulse uh, given to me is just a bonus. I'm running Critical Save. Use a medkit during low health to increase damage resilience by 20% for 10 seconds. Combat Medic. Use a medkit near allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. And Strike Back. Reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. The only floater talent out of all these is precision. You could go triage if you really wanted to, you know, on the move, adrenaline, what have you, anything. I'm just using the precision. Um, every once in a while, if I'm going against teams that throw a lot of grenades, I'll put on like wildfire or chain reaction and then just spam them with their own grenades. But yeah, guys, so this is my. Six piece final measure crit maxed out crit build. I could get a few more on the crit damage, but this alone, this alone, you guys, will take care of whatever you want. But all right, don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and sub to the channel for more content, you guys. It's your boy Kamikaze Von Doom, and I'm out. Peace.